Hello, big YouTubers. Mike here, and today I'm going to be talking about UU rig or Ulanzi cage for your Sony ZV-1. So today's video is going to be me quickly talking about a few features of this cage and mainly about why I actually got a cage for my Sony ZV-1 and also why I got the Ulanzi slash UU rig cage compared to um, other brands that are out there. Quick look. So this is how it looked like when I when you have your Sony ZV-1 attached to the cage. And I got the cage from B&H for $30. And when I first opened it, um, it felt really nice. Like it, all the details and it actually felt very sturdy, not cheap. And the installation was very easy. Uh, where you just have to insert your lens to a hole and then you just tighten the screw on the bottom and that way it will grab the lens around and your camera will be mounted onto the cage so just a very quick you know it is not much super interesting about a cage so i just wanted to show you uh, certain things on certain different angles so on the top you see other holes where you, you can mount lights, monitor, or you know, mic. And it has a decent amount of depth. So when you drop it, it will still protect you at least some portion of your camera. When you look on the front, this wood handle, it feels really good. Um, I was actually surprised because it kind of fits perfectly on my hand and it's very comfortable, very flushed out. You know, it doesn't feel cheap. And also when you go side, there's more quarter inch screw spot holes for you to mount or rig out your Sony ZV-1. And on the other side, unfortunately, there isn't much thing, nothing here. And what's the most important is the bottom. It still has six quarter inch holes and also a cold shoe mount and the detail on this cage is pretty good because the hole right here is a speaker um, for your ZV-1 so it has it open so it actually the sound to come out and most importantly there is a battery opening where it does not get in the way of opening it and this cage it doesn't interfere with any ports or anything like that for instance on the side where it has all the mic ports hdmi port and charging ports it doesn't get in your way when you have the cage on here so why did i get a cage and this was not included in my previous accessory video for zv1 and the reason why I didn't include it or I didn't have it back then is because I wasn't really using the ZV-1 that often um, but ever since a couple months ago I've been using this camera mainly and um, to be honest I was using it more than my Fuji X-T4 or my Sony a7R4 so you know it 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 was a very quick and easy way of shooting and enjoying you know whatever I'm doing but there was one Thing that actually frustrated me then that was the the bottom you know when I have let's say tripod or any kind of a mount screwed onto the cameras um, quarter inch screw on the bottom it wouldn't let me open the stupid battery compartment or SD compartment so every time I wanted to check footage or have to change memory card or change batteries I have to unscrew the mount unscrew the tripod and then you know take out whatever I need put it back in screw it again it was just too much so that is the main reason I actually got a cage for my Sony ZV-1 and I want to recommend other people who use a ZV-1 often, cage is going to be a lifesaver. It's very convenient just for this thing on the bottom. And another reason is because I've been taking this around everywhere, um, it gives me a little bit more protection and, um, and it feels a little bit more, you know, sturdy or 
grippy on the hands once you have this cage on. And also I wanted to try something more with this camera. This camera, you know, can do a lot of things and I kind of want to rig it out and see what my limitation is um, once I actually fully rig this out. That's why I actually got a cage. And there are a couple reasons why I picked the Ulanzi case over, let's say, small rig or any other brand's cages out there. Now, as a comparison, let's do um, small rig. First of all, small rig cages are, I think the one with the wooden handle is $50, but this one is actually $30. So obviously it's cheaper. So it's, if it does the same thing, cheaper is better in my opinion, if the quality is uh, pretty same. And also, the Ulanzi cage is lighter. And I think that's pretty important. I know it's not that much of a weight difference, but the reason why I'm carrying this around is because it's such a small and easy to carry. And if I have you know, heavier setup or bulkier setup, it kind of defeats the purpose for me. Yes, um, you know, the small rig has the side thing protecting and also it covers majority all the top portion but I don't think I really need that much protection so I just went with a lighter cage and here is the most important feature that Ulanzi doesn't really talk about but the reason why I got the Ulanzi over other cages is because the bottom plate that they have this plate is I don't know they intentionally made it like this but this fits into my Arca Swiss base um, where I use um, basically everything that is Arca Swiss so I can mount this on my Joby tripod or any other ball heads that I have that are Arca Swiss so that means I don't really need an extra mount on the bottom uh, but you have to make sure that it works because I have one other base plate that really doesn't really hold it tight enough so it kind of slides off but most of the other base mount or ball head I had that are Arca Swiss it actually worked very well I think for me it's probably the most important thing that it had that made me decide to get this cage Overall, I love this and I actually re would recommend to people who actually use this uh, mainly or often enough um, because it, it will, it's, it's very easy for you to, just for the, you know, getting the battery out without you have to take out anything that are screw is screwed on the bottom. It's very well made. I think you guys won't regret it if you guys get it. So that's it for today. Hopefully you guys like my videos. Please give me a like, subscribe, and you know, notification bell if you wanna see more content similar to this one. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.